Hi everyone and welcome back to this AutoCAD tutorial. In this video we will start modeling the first elements of our train station. We will begin with the passenger platforms and for that we will use the box modeling tool. You can find this tool in the modeling tab, on our home tab or as well in the solid tab. So by clicking in box we just need to specify a first corner and then we will input the dimensions of our platforms. In this case we are going to specify 5.7 meters width by 65 meters long and then a height of 1.1 meters. Now I'm gonna show you some very useful tools uh, to make quick modifications on your model and for example I'm gonna show you the selection filters. By using a selection filter you can uh, adjust your selection to specify elements of your object for example in this case I'm gonna use an edge filter so if I select this edge I'm selecting only this uh, edge of the whole volume and if I make um, a change on this for example its position I'm only affecting the edge well of course the adjacent faces will modify as well but I'm not moving the other four edges of this face so in this case I'm gonna just uh, stretch this edge um, around 25 meters in that direction so I'm gonna input 25 meters enter and there we have it now the next element we're gonna model is the train that gonna be in, uh, next to our platforms so we're gonna use again the box tool and now we're gonna specify different dimensions so we're gonna input 2.9 meters width and by pressing your tab key on your keyboard you can automatically change to the other field to input the different dimensions for example I just input 2.9 for the width and now I'm gonna input I'm gonna click the tab key and input 18 meters hit enter and finally I'm gonna specify the height of our volume so I'm gonna input again 2.9 and hit enter now I'm gonna select this volume and I'm gonna copy a couple of times to make the other cars but first I have to uncheck the selection filter so I can really select the whole volume not just the edges now I can click uh, copy or input CO enter select this endpoint and paste it right here the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my volume hover over the green arrow to move the this volume in that direction and I'm gonna move it 50 centimeters so 0.5 enter and now I can copy again the volume using as a reference point the, the this corner of the first card and paste it right here and click escape just to finish the copy action now we can modify these basic volumes to give them a nicer look by using the mesh tool of a smooth object so for that we can select the three volumes and then click on a smooth object as you can see th by using the smooth object we have achieved this smoothness with just one click but by choosing the smooth object option we have automatically converted our solid object into a mesh so for example if I select it and go to its properties I will see that now it's a mesh compared if I select the platform it's still a 3D solid now we can still improve the smoothness of our volumes by clicking on the smooth more tool here on the on the mesh options you can also find it on the mesh tab and on, under the smooth more tool and this will subdivide the faces of the mesh into smaller faces so I'm gonna do this one more time and also for the other two cars of the train so I'm gonna click smooth more once and twice okay well meshes also allow us to use the selection filter so for example if I select now a face filter I can select the first uh, faces of my volume and having them selected I can just pull the gizmo towards this direction and then I can reselect only the center face move it a bit more 
to this direction and then actually I'm gonna move it a bit down on the vertical X by doing this I can very easily modify the appearance of this element with just a minor clicks now I'm gonna continue making modifications to these volumes but instead of using its faces I'm gonna use its edges and uh, for that first I'm gonna change the visualization style from conceptual to x-ray this allows me to see the meshes guidelines so now on the selection filter I'm gonna choose edge and I'm gonna click on the edges that I want to to move in this case so for example these four edges once again I hover over the green arrow because that's the direction where I want to move the edges so I'm gonna move them 20 centimeters in that direction and I'm gonna repeat the same procedure on this on this volume so again having the edge selection filter I'm gonna select these four edges and now move them into this direction also 20 centimeters enter as well as with the standard procedures you can move two objects or more at the same time you can do the same with the sele uh, selection filter system so I'm gonna select now these four edges as well as the four edges of this other volume and now I'm gonna be able to move all eight edges at the same time so I'm gonna move them again 20 centimeters this way you move both volumes modify both volumes in a faster way now before continuing I'm just gonna isolate our trains for that I'm gonna go under the layer option click on isolate select our train cars click enter and now we only have the train and the platform which are on the train layers and hide the rest of the environment as you can see uh, there are more faces than guidelines on this mesh so if you take a look there are very small faces here but we have very few guidelines now we are gonna redefine the mesh to be able to select the this smaller elements that that we need so I'm gonna go to the mesh tab and click on redefine mesh and as you can see we have now all the guidelines now with this new definition of the mesh I'm gonna use a selection filter using the faces and I'm gonna select this front faces and I'm gonna move them in that direction 15 centimeters now I'm gonna change my selection filter select edges and I'm gonna select their its edges and another thing you can do is to relocate the position of the gizmo to a position that's better for you to work so for example right now the move gizmo is on this first edge but if I go over the gizmo and make a right click I can click on relocate gizmo and set it here in the center now by hovering over the the blue arrow I'm gonna move down 50 centimeters I'm gonna unselect these edges and I'm gonna select now the edges on the top and move them again 50 centimeters but now up so by doing these modifications we have created the windshield of our train but we don't have that smooth look that we want so now we're gonna we're going to convert this mesh into a surface to gain this smoother look so I'm gonna click on click on the mesh and then under the mesh tab on a ribbon we will find the convert surface click on it and now we have it so if I select the the surface and go to its properties I will see that it's now a surface just to verify so I'm gonna go to the home tab and change the visualization style to shades of gray to have a better look 
over these modifications we have just made. Modifying a mesh as we did before can be very easy using the selection filter, but it doesn't achieve the same smoothness we can get with nerve surfaces. By using nerve surfaces we can modify its control vertices and make smoother changes. Nerves work with control vertices located on a UV coordinate system as the standard XY system but relative to each object. When working with nerves, you can add or remove control vertices very easily. So now the first thing to do is to select your surface, go to the surface tab and click on the convert to nerves tool. Now AutoCAD asks us if we want to convert this uh, the surface into a nurse because it will result in a large number of control vertices we will click on continue and now to show you how nerves work uh, we will create the wheels of our train using the control vertices so I'm gonna go ahead and select this nerve surface and then click on the show control vertices tool as I said before, we can add or remove control vertices to a nerve surface and a very easy way is by using the Add Control Vertices tool. So we're going to click on Add, then we're going to select our surface and we can add control vertices over this direction or we can change the direction making a right click, click on direction and now on this other direction. In this case, I'm going to add uh, control vertices in this direction over here. Now I'm going to select the surface to activate the control vertices and by pressing the shift key on your keyboard I'm going to select these two vertices and I'm going to move them down through the through the x uh through the c axis and I'm going to move them down 50 centimeters to so 0.5 enter and I'm going to press escape and take a look on the result One thing to understand is that by adding more control vertices to the surface we will modify itself to be tangent to all fit points and reducing the weight impact of one control vertices to the whole surface which means if we add more vertices over here we will have a more light curve than in this example so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select again the surface and I'm gonna add more vertices so once again I'm gonna click right click to change the direction and in this case I'm gonna add one control vertex here repeat the same action you can also type D on your keyboard to change the direction add another control vertex here repeat the action change the direction and finally add another one here now select the surface by pressing your shift key you can select multiple control vertices and now you can see that the move gizmo is really on the middle of the surface so we're going to relocate it so right click relocate gizmo and put it somewhere here so it's closer to our control vertices that we want to modify now by relocating the gizmo we have lost our selection so we are going to select them again Tech. and move again 50 centimeters down and now let's unselect and zoom out to see the difference between both results now you can see that between both of them using more control vertices allow us to have a more punctual result than using few vertices control vertices that have an impact on a bigger area of the whole surface so let's move on to modify this middle car now we have to first convert this car to nerve so we select then go to mesh convert to surface and now we can go to surface and convert to nerves another way to add control vertices is by selecting your surface and choosing the rebuild tool this way you can input the total number of control vertices in both the U and the V direction so in this case let's input 15 and down here let's input 12 then click OK now if we select and click on show 
control vertices we can see the control vertices of our surface and we're gonna select this these four control vertices up here um, we're gonna move them up so once again let's relocate the gizmo move up around this much and finally one last way you can modify your nerve surface by adding just one control vertices in the whole surface is by using the CV edit bar so by clicking here you just need to click on your surface and this allows you to locate one control vertices independently of the whole U or V direction so I'm gonna just click here and once that I make this click I can move directly this new control vertices up and I will move it uh, this much now we'll continue making the modifications to all the train cars and I will be back to you in one second hi again now you can see I have turned on the visibility of the other layers and copy and place our elements in their position as you can realize it's very simple to model this type of objects using these easy techniques on our next module we will continue modeling our course project exploring more advanced techniques using nerve surfaces so thanks again for watching and stay tuned for our upcoming lesson